everyone knows Richie from the, the big foot videos. You just told Richie we were heading out to Chambers Killer. Someone's ancestors have graffitied all over that rock. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of graffiti in there. Time cup here. <laughs> well, I found it. It's right there. Grinder. I've always wanted to grind it for patrol, Finally left Alice Springs. We are heading south now down to Stewart's Well, uh, and then going to explore or spend the night at Chambers Pillars and then on to the uh, Lambert's National, what was it, Na Lambert's Geographical Centre of Australia. Yep. And then we are. Da -da -da. Cool. <laughs> oh, no, we're crossing the border. <laughs> we're crossing the border into SA. We'll head down to Mount Dare, Delhousie Springs, that whole area, explore that, and then. Head Oodnadada. down to Hoodnadatta and then who knows from there. We don't know. We're just going to keep heading south. We don't know if we're going to keep going down and get to Flinders Ranges or it's all dependent on this 4x4 show that's coming. So yeah. as to what's going on, we hear COVID has gone rampant. So we're not yeah, we're not sure if it's even going to be on. That's in Melbourne, but I guess there's so many people coming from New South Wales for the show that they may delay the show. So anyway, it's all fingers crossed to what's happening with that, I guess. Once what do you again, think? we are covid Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't you love it? I tell you what I do love. Wow, that. Yeah, so we're <laughs> here at Stewartsville Roadhouse, where we've been for the last night, and we were just here having a chat. And we nearly got run over by this mad man and his this lovely is, wife. <laughs> this is Richie. Hey, oh, Richie, everyone knows Richie from the, the Fink yeah. videos, this mate. This is where so. we stayed when we were here for Fink. Now we just told Richie we were heading out to Chambers Pillar. And this yeah, one here has advised us that someone's ancestors have graffitied all over that rock. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of graffiti in their, in the, their um, time cup here. <laughs> <laughs> that was all right for me, I can't read and write. So <laughs> I haven't got around to graffiti yet. So we're looking for haze, correct? We're looking for haze, haze everywhere right on there. Hey, in, in the early, when you first came here? 1880s. In the 1880s, 1880s the yeah. relatives graffitied Chambers Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going on a treasure hunt. That is a very common occurrence here. We turn off the main road, pull over, and air down. So high pressure's going down. We're running 50 psi in the back and 40 in the front. So I think it's general about 80 k's an hour. I don't know. We don't even know the road conditions, do we? So they like this. No, it's probably get a lot worse. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> That's where we're headed. Okay, so this road is actually magic. Not that bad. I, um, yeah, we've definitely gone on a lot worse. 
We're only a third of the way though, so let's, yeah, hopefully it stays like this and doesn't get bad, but I'm pretty sure when we get to the old Garn Road, the road to Fink that we did about three weeks ago, it is hectically rough. Though. It was. It may have been graded since then. So. Yeah, after the Fink Desert Race, fingers crossed, it has been graded. These roads it is change all the time. <laughs> yeah, rapidly. So at the moment, we're standing on the Central Australian Railway, though. We are. There are no trains coming. So There's no is. trains coming, so we're all safe, guys. So I'm assuming this is the train line where the Garn and everything goes on because it is a central Australian railway, isn't it? It's a railway and it's central. And central. Wild horses, yeah. Gotta be careful of these suckers. A few dead ones so far. And hey, those boys. guys tend to wander onto the road. Yes. Which is not ideal for them and not ideal for vehicles either. Um, but we've driven past a few things. We've just gone past Walkabout Boar and Eagle Nest Boar was back there. And there's we're... There's a garden viewing. Yeah, there's a garden viewing platform. There are a few things dotted along this road you can stop and have a look at if you wanted to. Um, we are heading towards, I think it says Mount Peachy now. If you have a look, you can see where we're headed. that road we've come to what I think is old Maryvale Road or Maryvale Road. I don't know what Chris is doing over there. Scoping things out I guess. Right here on the Hema you can see that's the road that we've just come along. Big long road from here all the way through here and now we are right here at this intersection. Up to he found Look. the racetrack. Which way are you gonna go? Okay. We're at the end of the old Hugh River stock route, so now we're back on the old Garn. So we'll do a head south along there, and look where we're next to. <laughs> right next to the old racetrack. Look at the works down here, look I found an old arrow. This how, would have been standing right here. How tempting is it to just like come up and over the bank and just take, oh, take that route? really tempting, look at the works down there. <laughs> and look how hard it is. Yeah, it's actually really... Because no cars and bikes have been on it. As soon as you break that layer, look at that. Keep going down that way. We'll go to the old ruins. We'll show you guys around the ruins. It's pretty nice. We didn't do it when the thing was on because it was just hectically busy. But look at the corrugations too that we're about to go on. Two minutes. Right. Yo, Dad, how are you, buddy? Yeah, good, mate. Good. We're just on our way to Fink, mate. So, um, yeah, we just stopped at the the halfway point here, and we're just gonna, um, yeah, I just got a bit of cash out, went to the toilet, mate, and then we're just gonna head up to Chambers Villa hey, for a night, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Yeah. All right, buddy. You wanna say? You wanna say go, Dad? Hi, Dad. All right, Cyril. See you, buddy. Big turn down. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Fabulous. Have I still got it? Yeah, yeah big whip. Big look back whip. Can it fall over? Can you lean it over. Here we go. Come to the jump. And I'm going to compress. And I'm going to turn her in. And. What are you back? Maybe. Yeah, good, eh? <laughs> Still got it, haven't I, honey? Come on. <laughs> All right, 
guys, so we've just pulled up to the old Radinga ruins, have we, darling? Yeah. So what do we got here? Well, it says here that Radinga was one of the original settlers camps established during the extension of the old Garn Railway to Alice Springs in the 1920s. It says maintenance was continual and conditions unrelentingly harsh on the settlers. In summer, <laughs> temperatures peaked in the high 40s and in winter, overnight temperatures plummeted below zero. Well, we know that, um, don't we? Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of info here about the, um, the cook who used to make brownie cake and high top bread in a dugout oven in the ground made from a 44 gallon drum and then it talks about the weather heavy rain um caused washaways to the unbalanced railway it's just lots of information about um the railway and yep. here's a picture here of what it what it used to be like and then around on the side here i guess there's a map there's the route oh yes yeah, so it went from alice springs all the way down unadada all the way down to port augusta it did there we go Another one of those really cool places where there's there you go. Like there's there's old, an old show on that. It's the old pins from the railway. Look at that. Yeah, it's just laying around. Yeah, they're everywhere on the track too. So if you get one in your tyre, boo hoo to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Over this side, brief history of the garn from 1878 down to the 50s. 50s sand drifts, constant problem between Fink and Musgrave. Mm. Um, and then. Over there on that sign, it's just a little bit of information about some of the people that were here. We don't need to go through all of that. And then yeah. the cool stuff, which is just lying around everywhere. Yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. Yeah, there's also um, bits of rubbish lying around everywhere. But Yeah, and there's the old building there. So this is pretty much the start of the real rough stuff, isn't it? Getting to Fink. Yeah, this is where the road gets interesting. Yes. Or fun. Depending so on that, the other road we were on was the Maryvale. It was a Maryvale. Yep, so this is literally at Redinga is where it really starts. And it just goes off into the distance over there and it is brutal. Isn't it, it is. And under the, the road are the old railway sleepers. So the yep. corrugations are like And the old pins like yeah. we're saying about getting in your tires. So <laughs> yeah, check this joint out. to the Radinga ruins and now we've come back to that little intersection and now we're heading down to Chambers Pillar. Coming up to Maryvale or what was the name that you just read? Chichigala. along and we came into what was it <laughs> can you stop getting me to repeat it i can't T Tichigala? I think Tichigala. Tichigala. i think it's maryvale Tichigala. Tichigala. t-i-t-j-i-k-a-l-a -T Tichigala. um we just did a bit of a drive through had a look around and now we're going to head back and take the chambers pillar road to chambers because pillar. we did go the wrong way we did go the wrong way but it was really cool to have a look through there See, we've got to go along, here, up, and down. Chambers right, so we're going to go back that way we came from. Yes. Over the crest, and tell me what you can see out there. Chambers pillar just over there, and I can see another pillar over there. Zoom in, zoom in, you can see one there. Can you see it? Um, yes, and then the other one. Just down over there. Over there. I'm gonna go down the other side and get a little bit closer, hey? Yeah. Let's go. Good shot of some 
corrugations for you. How nicely the wheel sits right in them. The blue arrow on HEMA says we have arrived. And if we look up there, we see a campground with a pillar in the background. This is the campground. Here is the steel ranger where we pay our fee and in here we have all the information 240 hectare reserve protects a heritage site that is sacred to aboriginal people this is Hayes that's Richie we were talking to before we have to try and find his family's name on the pillar finding us the perfect spot look at that backdrop as always, these campgrounds have really cool toilets. They've all got these pillars here. All got huts. And all have these really low tables. This has found us a great campsite for the night and now he's going to make the bed. Ta-da! <laughs> We are embarking on this huge, long, 450 meter, 30 minute return walk to the pillar, the sunrise viewing platform. Yes. There is no sunrise going on right now. No sun at all, actually. This is the sunset viewing area. No sun. It's a set. <laughs> it's frustrating when you go so far out of your way to come to an epic spot and you dream of these amazing photos and look at it. Yeah. Oh, it's still impressive. It doesn't have the same impact as that brilliant blue sky and the sun and the vibrant colours of the sunset or sunrise. with the history. The Scottish explorer John McDougal Stewart arrived at this prominent landmark on April 6, 1860. He named it Chambers Pillar to honour his friend and financial supporters, James Chambers. No touching, no climbing, but names and initials carved here around the turn of the century are a vital part of the reserve's national historic importance. All right, it's your job to try and find Hayes. <laughs> USA. Close. Well, I told Chris he had to find the name Hayes and there's a whole information thing over here about the Hayes. <laughs> William and Mary Hayes came to Central Australia in 1884 and took up land at Deep Well, south of Alice Creek. Their descendants still own cattle properties in the area. Ah, oh, Richie. <laughs> That's Richie and his brother. Is that you, Richie? <laughs> I found it. It's right there. W.M. Hayes. Apparently it's on here a couple of times, so you can find the next well, I am pretty impressed with my I spy skills. Found it straight away. Chris has taken off around the corner. I wonder if he's found it somewhere else. These rocks have crashed a long way down. We've done our little walk around and head back to camp now. We found some more. 1952, 1954, 1956. Look at that, 1962, 61, 59, 56. Well, that rock's been down here for a while. Yeah. Do you reckon it's broken off from up there? Oh, probably. No, I don't know, I don't think so. Do you reckon it's just appeared here? Yeah. Time to wind down and get some dinner. What do you reckon? Mm-hmm. Fire's cranking. Look. We'll just use these fire pits. How cool are they when that, the hot plate just swivels around? We've got these that swivel around. <laughs> For your camp oven if you've got one. Mm. We've just got steak. We have another gourmet dinner. You're in charge of oh, freshly grown veggies. <laughs> veggies. And I'm gonna do the steaks steak. on the hot plate on the fire. I don't know if you can see what's going on over there, but sparks are flying from on top of that four-wheel drive. And that is Chris. Up on top. <laughs> the knight in shining armor. Honey, I'm being a superstar again. Look, look, I got my gr trusty grinder. I've always wanted to grind it at patrol, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get a YouTube.
Welcome to our, our trip. We're going nowhere. We don't know what we're doing. But on in this car, if something's broken, someone helps us. We've had all these grey nomads, people fix it. We name it after them. So now these are going to be uh, Chris's uh, grinding job. Can you please? Yes, we actually have a sunset. Yeah, give me that here. Thank you. It is gorgeous. You guys have to get up here, hey? Pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> Wow. Look at these two here. They're ducking. <laughs> so we missed out on the sunset, so we thought we'd get up early and be ready for the sunrise. But we can't see anything because it is so foggy. You can kind of see a little bit there, just between the stove and the canopy. Listen. It sounds like it's raining. Everything is so wet. Mm -hmm. The kettle boiling. You okay this morning? Mm -hmm. I actually know where I'm going to be for sunrise because it's so foggy. I think sunrise on the pillar is going to be a little bit average. The sun is rising behind that one over there creating a pretty nice silhouette. Who knows? Is the current view <laughs> of the pillar. I can see it. Right I just realized that at Uluru we also got up at sunrise to get a um, view of the rock and an unusually thick fog had descended. Well, happened again at James Pillar. The sun is rising, finally. Look what we have. cab rooftop tent so we've left the caravan behind we do this when you know it's somewhere we'd like to go in just the rooftop now we were sitting here last night and a car drove in and Chris is like I swear they've got an alu cab on the top and then they pulled in he's like I think it's a whole alu cab rear end and then I noticed they had alu cab written on their number plate so I think that says to us we need to go and check out these guys what do you reckon <laughs> Look at that! It's an alien camp! There's a couple of things that are absolutely gold. This is not just the rooftop, this is the entire yeah. back of six Yeah, so the alien camp goes into here and bolts into here. Alien camp, shall you. It's alright, we understand men exaggerate. Okay, we open up the back here. Oh. So you pop it in here like this. South African gas bottles are different to Australian gas bottles. Are they really? Yeah. So you can have 50, 60 kilos surfboards, canoes, kayaks, yeah. bikes, yeah. and still lift it up and go to bed. The ladder's permanently hooked up on there. The thing I like about Alu Cab, yeah. one, two, three. Yes. And the boudoir, of course, you just. Oh, the boudoir. Up here. <laughs> you just hook straight up. Oh, thanks very much for your time, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't get any more Alu Cab than that, does it? <laughs> side of the road here and we're having a little discussion aren't we? Hmm, there are four things that you see this way. <laughs> Blue sky, red dirt, green trees and car parts, predominantly tyres. <laughs> Lots of car parts and obviously the corrugation is um, 
plays a major part in the oh, okay, in the car right? parts. <laughs> yes. But they do that everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There's another one over there. Is there? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna show you all the car parts that oh, are scattered we're, around. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> Even an entire bull bar. Look at this. Do you reckon they would have noticed it was gone? <laughs> Let's put it here on display more. It's better on display. Yeah. More parts down here too. Yeah, check out that corrugation. Look at it. Look how deep that is. Yeah, it's not even. <laughs> The deepest of oh, That was just an example of car parts and that was literally like a 2k yeah. 2k run if, if that 1k uh, but i'm not going to keep stopping there is parts screwed everywhere on this track so. there are we've passed like three tires while he's been talking to you yeah. <laughs> and that's a wrap for our chambers pillar adventure yep another destination done and dusted what do you think of it oh it's epic epic journey oh, I, yeah just another awesome adventure just crossed off the list eh Absolutely. Where are we going next? Back to the roadhouse and then? Lambert's. Lambert's. The geographical centre of Australia. Head and head to Mount Dare, head to SA. No. I feel like an absolute liar now. I said that the Marini Loop Road had brutal corrugation. That was nothing compared to this. Corrugation's on fire, but flood damage, I have concerns. Yeah. Yeah, keep up the center. You can see the back of the end. Right,